November 2nd, 2014 from Sun Life Stadium in Miami, Florida. It was the San Diego Chargers at the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins won the toss and they elected to defer. And so the San Diego Chargers would start things off in this game. They had the ball on their own 20. They brought it to midfield. They ended up getting backed up on some penalties, but they ended up getting into Miami territory. They would get all the way down to the edge of the red zone. And on fourth and one from the Miami 22, they would elect to go for it. And Brandon Oliver was stuffed for a one-yard loss. So the Miami defense comes up clutch, and they force the turnover on downs. So now the Dolphins would take over on their own 23 with about seven and a half minutes left in the first quarter. And they would make, you know, some short, they would end up getting a first down. They brought the ball to the Miami 39 with the first down. Now Ryan Tannehill would drop back to pass. He found Clay for a 24-yard reception. That would bring the ball into San Diego territory on the 37. And then they would end up getting to the 22, but then a penalty brought them back to the 32. They had offensive pass interference called against Mike Wallace. But then they picked up a first down on second and two when Lamar Miller ran for six yards. So now it was a first down on the 13. And then they ended up with a six-yard pass from Tannehill to Hartline. So now it was second and four on the seven. Miller then ran for a yard, and that brought up third and three on the six. Tannehill then dropped back to pass, and he found Clay for a six-yard touchdown. And it was now 7 to nothing, Miami over San Diego. So now the Chargers would take over with about a minute and a half left in the first quarter. They had the ball on their own 26, and they would end up going three and out, but not before the first quarter came to a close with the score of Miami 7, San Diego 0. And so on the first play of the second quarter, the Chargers would punt the ball to the Dolphins. So now the Dolphins would take over on their own 39, and they would end up bringing the ball into San Diego territory as Tannehill was on point in this game. And then on first and 10 from the 32, Tannehill would end up running for 22 yards after having thrown an 18-yard pass the previous play. He then would throw an 8-yard pass to Miller, and that would make it second and goal on the 2. And then after a no gain, Miller would end up punching it in from two yards out on third and goal from the two. And it was now 14 to nothing, Miami over San Diego. So now the Chargers would take over on their own 30. Phillip Rivers dropped back to pass. And he was intercepted by Jones. So now the Dolphins got the ball back with a little less than 11 minutes left in the first half. They had it on the San Diego 31, and they would make short work of the short field as they ended up getting all the way down to the eight yard line but they would not get in the end zone and Sturgis would end up kicking a 26 yard field goal and it would end up being 17 to 0 Miami over San Diego so now the Chargers would take over with about nine minutes left in the first half and they would end up going four plays and punting as they picked up a first down, but then their drive stalled. And now the Dolphins would take over with about seven and a half minutes left in the first half. They had it on their own 30. They brought the ball to midfield and into the Chargers territory. They were faced with a third and 12 from the San Diego 46. And then Tannehill hit Mike Wallace for a 38-yard pass. And that would make it first and goal on the eight. Their drive would then stall, and Sturgis came out to kick a 25-yard field goal, and it was now 20 to nothing Dolphins over the Chargers. The Chargers would then end up getting a first down, but then they punted again after just four plays on the possession. So now the Dolphins would get the ball back with about a minute left before halftime. They had it on their own 24. They would actually bring it into San Diego territory, and with just seconds left on the clock, Sturgis would come out to attempt a 40 five yard field goal but it was no good and the score would remain 20 to nothing going into halftime with the Dolphins leading the Chargers so now to start things off in the third quarter the Dolphins would get the ball first they'd start off on their own 28 they got into San Diego territory into the edge of the red zone it was second and 10 from the San Diego 21 Tannehill drops back to pass and he found Matthews for a 21 yard touchdown and it was now 27 to nothing Miami over San Diego 
The Chargers will now take over on their own 16-yard line. They end up picking up a first down and getting it up to the 33, but on third and 10 from the 33, Phillip Rivers dropped back to pass, and he was intercepted by Brent Grimes. So Grimes comes up with a pick, and the Dolphins now have the ball on their own 19, or on the San Diego 19-yard line, and they would end up getting up to the five-yard line, but they would end up stalling, and Sturgis would come out to kick yet another field goal, this one from 23 yards out, and it was now 30 to nothing, Dolphins over the Chargers. So now the Chargers took over on their own 25 with about seven minutes left in the quarter, and on second and 18, after having been sacked on the previous play, as Mitchell sacked Rivers for an eight-yard loss to make it second and 18 after they had picked up a first down on their first play. So on the third play of the possession, Phillip Rivers drops back to pass, and he's intercepted by Brent Grimes for the second time in this game. So Brent Grimes with a pair of picks. So now the Dolphins would take over with about five and a half minutes left in the quarter. And they had the ball on their own 29, but after four plays, they would punt the ball back to San Diego. So now San Diego would end up taking over on their own 10-yard line. And on third and nine from the 11, Phillip Rivers dropped back to pass. He was sacked. He fumbled the ball. Werner was the one who sacked him for the seven-yard loss. And Odrick ended up recovering the fumble. So now the Dolphins had the ball on the San Diego 14-yard line. And Jarvis Landry ended up catching a pass from Tannehill. And he made an amazing move around the corner as he just barely got into the end zone. They reviewed the play, and it was ruled a touchdown. And it was now 37 to nothing. Dolphins over the Chargers. So now the Chargers got the ball with two minutes left in the third quarter. They had it on their own 20. Helen Clemens was now in under center as they just pulled Phillip Rivers because this game, even with a whole quarter of play left, was just way out of reach. And the Chargers were not able to get anything going. At their four plays, they would punt the ball. And that's how they brought the third quarter to a close. So after three, it was 37 to nothing, Miami over San Diego. So now the Dolphins would start things off in the fourth, and they would end up eating up some clock and punting the ball after six plays. So now the Chargers get the ball back with about 12 minutes left in the game, and they would end up having it on their own 15. They end up moving backwards with a holding penalty, but then Brown ran for 16 yards, and that would make it second and one. He then ran for three yards to pick up a first down, as they started to chip away a little bit. And they ended up picking up another first down on second and seven from the 30 as Oliver ended up running for 11 yards. But then they would end up punting the ball a few plays later. And so now the Dolphins would end up taking over on their own 45 with less than seven minutes left in this game. And they would just start pounding the rock as they would just try to eat up the clock and bring this game to a close as they just kept giving the ball to Williams. And he just kept eating up the clock. And the game ended up coming to a close. And the final score was Miami 37, San Diego 0. And with the victory, the Dolphins are now 5-3 and three on the season. They're 2-2 two and two at home. The Chargers are now... Five and four. They're two and three on the road. They were five and one. They just now have lost three straight. And in this game, Ryan Tannehill was 24 for 34. He had 288 passing yards and three touchdowns. Phillip Rivers was 12 for 23 with 138 yards and three interceptions. Tannehill actually had 47 yards off of four carries, and he was nearly the game's leading rusher. He missed that by just two yards. His Lamar Miller was the game's leading rusher with 49 yards off 11 carries, one of which was for a touchdown. The leading receiver in the game was Charles Clay, as he had 65 yards off of five receptions and one touchdown. And on defense... The leading tackler in this game was for San Diego. That was Donald Butler. He had eight tackles. The leading tackler for Miami only had five tackles. That was Rashad Jones. And as for sacks, the Chargers did not sack Tannehill, not even once. 
but the Dolphins had four sacks is Mitchell, Cameron Wake, Starks, and Werner all had sacks as they were just terrorizing Phillip Rivers. And speaking of that, Grimes had two interceptions and Jones had one. So they picked them off three times. They sacked them four times. Miami's defense comes up huge as they make a huge statement in Miami by shutting out the Chargers. I believe it's the fourth or fifth shutout of the season. It's a huge victory for the Dolphins. So the final score in this game, Miami 37, San Diego 0.